Also making news today, a lot of you dealing with two words that start with T this week, Thanksgiving and travel. In fact, <laughs> 3.14 million travelers will take to the skies this week. Well, the Jacksonville International Airport and the Transportation Safety Administration held a news conference today to remind flyers of how to be prepared for airport security during the busiest time of the year. Now, they also want to remind people you can check their website to any delays or cancellations, and there have been hundreds of delays in airports around the country. Televoice Elizabeth Campbell joins us live now from the airport with more on TSA's new pre-check screening process. Now it can help make traveling easier and faster, I would think, Elizabeth. Well, Rob, if you've recently been through airport security, you know that you have to take off your shoes, you have to take off your jacket, sometimes your belt, and you have to make sure if you have a laptop that you take it all the way out of the bag and put it in a separate container. Well, with this new pre-check screening process, you walk right through the line. It only takes about 45 seconds, and they hope this will make traveling a lot easier and a lot less stressful. The weather may be great here in Jacksonville, but where your plane is coming from might not have the same wonderful weather and there may be delays not associated with your uh, destination or your origin airport. Always check with your airline before you leave the house to make sure your flight isn't delayed or canceled. This is just one of many reminders Michael Stewart with the Jacksonville International Airport has for holiday travelers. Another suggestion, try the Transportation Safety Administration's new pre-check screening process. It's now available at more than 100 airports nationwide. The program allows pre-approved airline travelers to leave on their shoes, light outerwear, and belt, keep their laptop in its case and their 311 compliant liquids and gels bag in their carry-on. And we have many, many passengers here that get here and, and find items in their bag that are prohibited that they had no idea were in their bag. God forbid, uh, especially a firearm uh, that people keep in the closet, the bag, things like that. So my advice is to please, please check your bag prior to prior to packing it. Frequent flyers are excited about this new quick way to go through airport security at JIA just in time for the holidays. Exactly. I was always put on flip-flops usually when I go through so I don't have to take off my boots or shoes and or belts. It'll be great. Now, passengers who are eligible for this TSA pre-check are U.S. citizens who are members of frequent traveler programs or of a U.S. Customs and Border Protection Travelers programs. Now, other people who aren't necessarily eligible at first might get put into this section depending on the information that they give to their airlines, and they will know that when they get to check in here, they will have something that is in a code in the uh, barcode on their ticket that will let them know before they go into security. Reporting live from JIA, Elizabeth King. Campbell Channel 4, the local station. You know, Elizabeth, given this new process, do you still recommend people get to the airport maybe an hour, two hours early? Oh, absolutely, Rob. Even today, they told us make sure that you are at the security point at least an hour and a half before your flight. They say don't be on airport road. Don't be pulling into the airport. You want to be here at security checkpoint at least an hour and a half, especially during the holidays, because they say they expect millions and millions of more people than usual. Rob? Elizabeth Campbell live at JIA. Thank you, Elizabeth.